Well, good Sunday afternoon, Facebook. Um, I just wanted to share my opinion with you guys. I wanted to let you see who I am without my weeks or my units. And here I am. And this is uh, after doing a big chop. I had cut it last week. I let my sister cut the, the permed hair off. And then I wasn't satisfied. So I went back with um, some clippers and a guard. And I took it down to a half an inch. I've also, um, I had put a color in my hair last week. It was golden blonde. Why? I don't know. What? Ugh. So we had to get some rents and we colored it to the color that's normal for me, which is the reds. Um, but I wanted to share with you an opinion. I, I'm not sure how you guys would feel about this, but I'm just going to put it out there because this is just how I do. Okay. I'm just thinking about it. Um, I decided to go natural twice. The first time I went natural and, and I transitioned into it and it was rough. It was really rough. Um, and then I eventually cut it off and I wore my hair short. I finally got to feel my natural, natural texture because I've had a perm since I was seven years old. Um, so it was funny. I didn't know what kind of hair I was going to have. I didn't know if I was a 4C, 4B, 1. It didn't matter. I was natural. But then after uh, wearing my hair natural for about seven months, I kind of wanted to see what my hair would be like straightened. So I went and had it straightened and, and I got addicted to that straight look again. And then I went back to the perm. Well, I'm here to tell you, I'm done with the perm. I'm serious. I'm, I'm just done with it. Um, I would rather press and curl and then go back to being curly naturally than to keep putting these chemicals in my hair. Now, the reason I say that is at one point in time, I used to work for the breast care center out in the city and state in which I reside. And I noticed that African-American women have the highest rate of breast cancer or cancer. African-Americans have the highest rate of cancer than any other race. And you know, when I transitioned the first time, I kind of thought about it. You know, my mom was going through some things with her breast cancer. And I was like, you know, I don't want to get anything. I don't want to have it, you know, whatever the case may be. Because my risk factor is relatively high. Because my mom had breast cancer. My dad passed with breast cancer. I lost my mom to breast cancer, by the way. Um, but uh, my dad passed to cancer. My grandparents on my mother's side had cancer. So my risk factor is high. So um, the first time I went uh, natural, I said, okay, I'll do this and, and see how this works. And I, I, did, I enjoyed it for the most part. And then, like I said, I went back to perms and then now I'm back again. And I, right now I've been natural for about a month, month and a half. I don't want to go back to the perm. And the reason why I put a little thought behind it, like I said, we as African-Americans have the highest risk of cancer than any other race. And I asked myself, what are we doing that perpetuates cancer to be so prolific in our lives? What are we doing? Well, you think about it. We put chemicals in our hair on a regular basis. Every 32, 45 days, we're slapping perms in our hair. That's chemicals. Whether you see that it says, um, what do they normally say? I got a box of perm right here. It says, no lie. That's what it'll say. No lie. Well, that's a lie. It may not have any lie in it, but it has other chemicals. And in order for our hair to straighten, um, they have to be some harsh chemicals. They have our hair straight as a board for 30 to 45 days. Now, some people wait until 30 to 45 days to get a new perm. Some people go less. Some people can wait six months, but still it is chemicals that are seeping into our system some kind of way. We don't know what the long-term effects is. I honestly don't know, but I'm trying to eliminate any risk factor that would cause me to have any kind of cancer. I don't need that in my life. I've seen how damaging it is for others, and I just, I don't need that. So if I could eliminate one risk, of course I don't smoke, but if I can eliminate one risk, perms, then I'm going to take it out, and I'm going to be natural. I'm just going to do me. So this is me, one half, a half an inch, because I cut it all the way down. I'm happy with the effect. I'm happy with my color. I did a rinse. No ammonia, no peroxide. However, I will tell you, last week I did put a permanent color in, and I was looking like some ain't right, and I had to fix it, so I fixed it today. Um, but I'm just, you know, throwing my little three cent out there. You could take it and leave it. It's up to you. But I'm just, you know, at this point in our lives, who needs any added pressures? Who needs any added drama or stress? So perms are gone. And I'm giving you face. And I'm happy with what my face looks like and my hair. So sharing my thoughts. Uh, you can chime in if you like. Um, 
and thanks for watching. Please subscribe because I only got three subscriptions. I'm telling you, they just a family, I believe. Anyway, love you guys. Have a great Sunday. Back to work on Monday. Bye.